All right, so Bitcoin absolutely smashed it yesterday. Let's jump in to the analysis today because there's a lot of stuff to get through. Do we stay in this area? Do we get a pullback? Do we completely crash from here? Find out on this video. All right, so just a quick update on my challenge from 5K to 100K. We did get in a trade this morning uh, where we were just looking for a pullback here. Essentially, we're at this level and I said, hey, uh, it's quite likely we retest this trend line and we did exactly that. We got in, we got out pretty much exactly at the bottom and then we've just let this coil up a little bit more uh, before looking for our next trade here. I'll get into that in a minute on the next trade I'm looking for, but just a quick update on there. We're back up to roughly around uh, 10% percent up here on this challenge. If you do want to follow me on this challenge, feel free. Link is in the description. Sign up on Fairdesk. It's a really quick KYC thing. No problems there. You just find my account and then follow. You get in all the same trades as me for this challenge, right? Uh, so the next thing here, obviously, we are still in expansion. That update uh, was last on the 10th of February. And this is typically a very bullish sign. You can see this on the chart right now. It's ridiculous. Okay. Super, super. Bulls are back. Let's go. Okay. And the next, we've got a, a pretty decent, nice new looking chart from uh, from uh, coin glass here uh, which is uh, a liquidation chart and we can see here yeah we do have quite a lot of liquidation areas below us here around the 49 Ks okay uh, this kind of fizzles out roughly around 49 K the lower 49 Ks right but the mid 49s are very much up for grabs here today so just be careful if we do dump uh, it could be an interesting time uh, one thing I will say is pretty much every time at US open over the past week or even two weeks at this point uh, we've had massive massive moves of Bitcoin Coin, uh, as the, that money comes in on US Open from the US time zones, right? So just be aware of that. Don't get in any trades before US Open because uh, basically anything can happen after that. Typically for the past few days on US Open, we have pumped, okay? So potentially we do do that again here. Uh, but if not, then uh, yeah, potentially we do come down, get a bit of a trap coming on and then uh, continuation. Again, we are still pretty far away from our harvesting, guys. So just be careful. We can crash into the abyss very, very easily easily. But with that said and done, very, very bullish signs for Bitcoin that we are tapping on 50k. Okay, I'm getting a few pop ups in my Facebook chats, uh, just saying Hamilton, is it the right time to buy Bitcoin? And I, my reply is obviously no, I told you to buy at 16k. It's now 50k. You've missed pretty much the whole thing so far. Just wait a few months <laughs> and see where it is then, right? But um, yeah, we can see here that we do also have massive liquidations up here around 50,500. And that's 470 million, which is huge. Okay, it's a massive, massive amount. Normally, when we're targeting liquidations, we're looking at like 100, 200 mil uh, for these market makers to grab. And if you don't really know what I'm talking about here, guys, essentially, um, every exchange will have liquidation levels, right, in the order books, where people have put in high leverage positions, and their liquidation level will be on the order book. Market makers will essentially just push price to that level, take over that contract on the liquidation because they have that signed with the uh, with the exchanges, right? And then they bring it back to the price it was and they just gain that money. So if they bring price up to here and then back down, they've then made uh, 426 million, which is pretty crazy. And they can do that pretty much anywhere. So just be aware of this. But uh, we are in a bit of a supply shock right now with, with uh, ETF times coming through. And yeah, let's jump into some strategies here, guys. And if you do want to learn a strategy, I've been trading for six years. My mentors taught me this strategy. So so feel free to sign up in the description for that. It's completely free to attend. Okay, I'm going to be basically giving you thousands of dollars worth of knowledge, not just in a strategy, but risk reward mentality, this kind of stuff, and just really getting you set for this bull run uh, throughout the second half of this year. So yeah, if you want to sign up for that, feel free. It's definitely something you don't want to miss and you don't want to have to regret this uh, coming in to later on in the year uh, where yeah, Bitcoin goes crazy and you don't know the strategies to use, right? And simple RSI stuff will not work. Okay, it's, it's, it's a bit of a scam that kind of stuff. You really want to be looking at moving averages. And just looking at this, this strategy, those of you that have attended the webinar in the past, uh, we did actually get one trade here, 1% trade uh, after this pump yesterday. If you did find that, let me know. Okay, let me know in the Telegram, let me know in the comments, wherever you feel fit to do so. Uh, and yeah, from now, let's look at Bitcoin, the price it is right now, the structure, uh, the trade that we're looking for next. Okay, so if we are looking at this, uh, again, we've got a broadening wedge here, not something that we like to typically trade in Bitcoin, because Bitcoin, uh, has all of its moves 
like very much so in in triangles where it coils up and then explodes in the direction whether that's up or down okay we can see the same thing echoed throughout pretty much the whole of bitcoin's history so yes this is data that i'm not going to ignore and broadening wedges just don't do it for me there just don't do it all right sometimes in altcoins just after bull markets uh, sorry just after bear markets this can be a viable strategy but not uh in bitcoin land okay so if we are looking at this right now what can we see what can we do i'm actually going to bring this up to a four hour uh just so we can get a bit more of a clear picture here uh so yeah you could call this a low but it's very very steep it's not something i'm looking to trade right now uh potentially we do come down in terms of momentum anyway uh to about 49.6 okay uh, and once we do hit that that's going to be the the key area we're going to be watching for the uh for a potential bounce here as us opens uh, and for a potential another run up here to the 51s and 52s uh, and if that is going great okay fantastic we'll just look to break essentially uh 51,000 here and then from that point we are good to go to get into a long besides that we do have i'm going to bring this one up instead actually uh, we do have this bad boy this wedge structure just bring it down to a daily okay we've got this wedge structure here coming through this is very very important we are just kind of teetering on the top of this right now uh, and you're probably wondering what this white line is i'll explain that in a minute but the main point here being that we have this ginormous wedge structure uh, if we do break out here and it does look good then uh, what we're going to be looking for is another monstrous move all the way up and we've already got this drawn in uh, to a certain extent anyway um yeah we're looking for a basically a trade above 51.5 all the way up to about 60k here so a massive massive move if we're going to put a percentage on that there is big big dollars to be made we're talking about another 15 percent to the moon boys to the moon if we do and again we are a neutral channel we're traders we're not moon boys okay so uh yeah if we do want to head down here guys then that's also a possibility let's just adjust this because we had this for this measure move but now this would be the most recent wave so we're just going to slap that underneath here if we do get one of these crashing scenarios and we do break uh, essentially about 44 or 43k depending on how long this takes if it is going to be something that just completely utterly dumps into the abyss here then we'd probably look for this low to break at 42.3 but uh, let's just give this some time and just expect it to bounce on the way down here if it is a bearish scenario anyway uh, which again I'm a bit more bullish here than bearish but I do think when we top out the crash is just going to be ridiculous no one is really prepared for the crash that's coming uh, when this does top out because I do expect it to top out before the halvening. I really, really do. And the halvening is uh, roughly around 420. So at this point in, in, in the chart, as you can see here, so Saturday, the 20th of April, and we can see that, um, yeah, I mean, we, we could easily come down to the high 30s before initiating that halvening and then going on our run. So, uh, yeah, be careful with that one. Keep that in the back of your minds. Do not get too bullish. Stay neutral out there. All right. Uh, and what we will say is what is the move here if we do head down very, very soon? Let's say we come down at 43K. It's basically whenever we break this trend line, just to be clear. OK, uh, we'll basically be looking for a trade all the way down here again another 10 10 percent here uh, pretty easy game here down to about 40k uh, and if we do bring up actually no i don't think the uh, liquidation chart is going to have it that low no it's not uh, maybe we can maybe we can bring it up let me just show you guys now we can bring it up and see some of these liquidations um on about 40k oh no we've got to go even higher okay let's go to the three month and see and just have a little look if it's going to load hello mate thailand internet uh yeah okay so yeah actually not too many liquidations around this level obviously um this is this is crunched down and condensed this is about a billion okay if we do get down to about 40k and they're going to make all the money along the way as well but i don't think it'll just be a straight drop unless it's a swan event guys so uh yeah just bear that in mind but uh yeah let's just have a look back at the chart here as you guys know we do like to oscillate around this purple line on the linear regressional growth curves here as you can see here uh before our halvenings okay so uh yes i would expect us to potentially return to this line um and but we do have two months right we do we, have, we do have two months here so uh yeah this line will potentially come up to 40k and then we bang it from there so yeah my my ultimate prediction here is potentially if we do come up a little bit higher that's fine but ultimately coming down to around 40k before the halvening and then absolutely smashing it towards the upside i'm talking about big beefy just ridiculous trades uh in e in both directions but uh, ideally when we do break that high again uh, and we do kind of do something like this then uh yeah i mean 
there's going to be ridiculous percentages to be made. So uh, yeah, just stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel, all of that good stuff. Uh, what else do we have here? This is a very messy, uh, <laughs> messy chart here. Let's just uh, let's bring this up to here. Yeah, one one other thing I've seen here is uh, is this new indicator I wanted to show you guys. It's called liquidation levels based on open interest and volume. And what this does, it plots in uh, potential liquidation levels uh, that you can see. And this is aligned so ridiculously well uh, with this chart I just showed you. Uh, it's it's stupid because this shouldn't have this much accurate data just based on open interest and volume. Uh, whereas the other one, this is actually the order book. Okay. So uh, yeah, this is just a fantastic indicator. It's predicting it absolutely massively. And I know it looks pretty messy, but uh, it's very, very easy. Okay. What we can see here is 5x leverage, 10x, 25, 50, and 100. Okay. Plot out in different colors. And then you just look at these levels and say, okay, which one's closest? Uh, what can we see here? Uh, we've got lots of liquidations up here. So uh, yeah, it makes sense. And you can see where the liquidations would have come through. Uh, a lot of these uh, liquidation indicators on TradingView, they won't plot the liquidation levels from a certain point. They'll plot it live, which makes it very difficult to figure out where uh, people would have entered to get liquidated in the future, right? But you can see that very clearly here. So it's just something I wanted to highlight for you guys. Again, liquidations, liquidation levels on open interest. And uh, yeah, it's not my indicator, not sponsored. It's free on TradingView. I just thought I'd, I'd share it with you guys because I know some of you guys are a bit more technical and uh, yeah, you might like this as well. If you are a beginner, absolutely no problem. If we are looking at this uh, just generally, uh, we can see we can see that, uh, yeah, as we talked about, potentially testing this uh, this seven seven SMA on the four hour, as I find my words, uh, maybe even coming down and wicking to the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band as well, right? Uh, if we are going to get rid of the WAD machine here and just bring up the, uh, the volume weighted ATR bands, uh, we can see that yes, when we are comfortably above all of these bad boys, these red bad boys here, uh, absolutely ridiculously bullish. When we do lose them, it's typically a sign that we get massive sideways or a pullback. So just look out for that. Here's a great example here. Okay, so we came up above the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band, we lost it we retested it and then we dumped into the abyss okay same towards the downside with the 60 minute uh, we lose it okay uh, we reclaim it and then we reverse okay uh, and yes just more and more examples of this working fantastically this is 50 percent off and you get a one week free trial uh, if you do want to check this out in the description but uh yeah it's, it's fantastic stuff and it's definitely my main indicator every everyone i know that's bought this thing or has used it or has been given it in a giveaway loves it okay is addicted to it and i know people that literally just show this on their chart and don't even use moving averages anymore <laughs> right because it's that good and it, it, you can you can go down to like a 15 minute and uh, very very low time frames where you can use this as well in big pumps like this but ultimately let's take a look at the momentum we can see here that overall yes we've had this massive massive pump up on the four hour uh we've we've won a we've been on a huge run here if we do just go from this more recent low uh where am i on the right thing here oh it's here yeah there we go beautiful stuff uh yeah we can see we've just done 17 percent in a few weeks which is fantastic okay uh, so yeah, potentially a pullback here towards the future. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this other line here. Where is this thing? Oh yeah, this white line uh, that I talked about earlier. So this comes from our uh, previous high here in December 17 when we hit 20K and everyone lost their minds. Bitcoin's 20K, oh my God. And then we went down to 3K, uh, but that's not important. What we're seeing here is this line as a trend line. Okay, and with this trend line, uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a key area of volatility, support and resistance, as you can see. Uh, and yeah, if we can reclaim it, it's going to be a massive, massive, bullish sign for Bitcoin, but I would expect a potential potential volatility around this area. So what I'm looking at right now, a lot of people are just shorting into this. I think that it's a viable strategy. It's not invalid. Okay. But what I will say is uh, typically when we do get around these big round numbers, whether this is a trend line or not, right around these big round numbers, like 50k, 40k, all of this stuff, right? Typically we will uh, oscillate in that area to trap as many people into leverage trades as possible. Okay. Uh, and yeah, one great strategy you can use with this is what's called a grid bot. So when we are oscillating in this area, okay, you can layer orders to both sides, okay? It doesn't have to be leverage. You can make literally 1% um, every few days here without leverage on spot, uh, just doing a strategy like this. Uh, and then just setting, basically saying, hey, look, 55K and 47K, I think Bitcoin stays between there. I layer in orders to both sides. I let Bitcoin oscillate and go sideways. If it goes above these levels, absolutely fine. Okay, if it comes down, uh, then uh, yeah, I mean, you can have a stop loss down here, uh, or you can just let this oscillate and, and just completely destroy the market okay this is the main market maker strategy okay what these guys do is they will 
create a random walk in the market, uh, forcing people into positions. And then uh, at the same time, they'll be layering in orders and just cashing out uh, these percentage gains. Because if we are just going to put, uh, yeah, this is 10%, potential to 10% range here, uh, if we do want to get pretty volatile in this area. And I know that seems like a big range, guys, because we have been in one, two, three, four percent ranges. But if you are looking at areas like this, exactly the same thing, okay? A nice 32% range in this area where we did just go wild, okay? Uh, even on the way up here, the last time we hit this around 30K in the last bull run, again, um, let's just make this correct, okay? We can see, yeah, 40K, a 40% range there, all right? So yes, definitely something that you don't want to ignore and definitely a strategy that will be valid in this area. So uh, feel free to try that out yourself. Do your own research, of course. It's your money, you're liable for it. Uh, and and yeah, there's many things that can go wrong in trading, but if your risk reward is good, uh, I would probably say, yes, that's probably the best strategy to be harnessing here. Normally, I would do this on my copy trading account, but copy trading doesn't let you open loads of positions to the up and down side at the same time. Uh, so yeah, and I, I don't really want to confuse some of you guys that have followed with a copying percentage of my account, right, uh, where I, I then enter like five trades as we come down and then five trades as we go up. Uh, it's probably going to empty your account quite quickly. So I'm only doing singular trades on the, the copy trade trading here. Uh, so if we do start ranging and it does look pretty good, I will potentially buy the dip here and then just sell at the top and just rinse and repeat that bad boy uh, as we do come through. Okay, so that is going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. Let me know what trades you're getting in. Did you did you uh, capitalize on this pump yesterday? I know it was very, very violent, but um, yeah, let me know how you're doing. I'll see you in the next one. Leave me a comment and like the video. Helps me out a lot. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.